What's up y'all? In this video I'm showing you all the different ways to get an arse load of class mods working together. I'll be showcasing individual class mods in other videos, so subscribe if that sounds like good stuff to you. Baldur's Goonsack. So, first things first, compatibility framework. There was an update which shook things up recently. The means by which the subclass mods interact with compatibility framework has changed in a recent update, meaning some subclass mods are no longer conflict-free. Instead of having to wait on the authors of said mods to update them, the author of compatibility framework has taken it upon themselves to upload patches for these subclass mods. On the mod page, compatibility framework, legacy support patches. At time of record, it has patches for 16 subclass mods. For load order, remember that compatibility framework will be at the end, and the patches for subclasses will be after the respective subclass mods. 16 mods isn't every mod though, is it? We'll get some more patches for subclasses which are not on that page. Dragonify has also taken it upon themselves to keep a few subclass mods up to date on their page custom subclass, icon, and compatibility framework fixes, keeping them compatible with improved UI and compatibility framework so there's no conflicts or missing subclass icons. Unlike compatibility framework legacy support patches, these are complete re-uploads of currently outdated mods. Not every single single subclass mod on Nexus is covered by these two mod pages, of course. A lot of other subclass mods have been getting updated by the original mod authors, though there are exceptions. In cases of subclasses not being supported by compatibility framework, you can have one per class. I recommend loading your subclass mods in chunks, sorting them by class, and whichever mod does not have compatibility framework support, you will put it last for that class. Take for example here, where I have Toxicologist, last four ranges. It is at time of recording in need of an update or patch, but loaded after the ranger subclasses currently working with compatibility framework, everything is fine. If you attempt to load more than one which is not compatible, or load it before the others, you will have some missing subclasses upon loading in, which is likely to cause crashes and other issues if the subclass is currently being used by a character on that save. Spell List Combiner. It combines spell list edits from different mods through Script Extender. Far as I can tell, it works alongside Compatibility Framework just fine. Unlike Compatibility Framework, Spell List Combiner does not need mod authors to directly add support, or patches to be made to get functional compatibility. Having both will give you more freedom overall, but you should note that this mod has some alleged issues in multiplayer. For single player though, I highly recommend it. Load order does not matter for this mod. A mod I used briefly was BG3 Compatibility Patcher, but it's currently not in a state where I'd recommend using it. However, I felt it's worth mentioning here in case it ever makes a comeback, though it's unlikely given how entrenched compatibility framework is. Unfortunately, it's still on the authors of subclass mods usually, or other individuals to add or patch in support for mods such as 5e spells. There's still a handful of subclass mods on Nexus without such support, but far from the majority. This is just a case-by-case -case basis, and 5e spells is far from the only mod to add spells, but it's the one you come to expect support for, with it being one of the most downloaded Baldur's Gate 3 mods out there modded subclass icons. You probably know them as lame placeholder skull icons. We're gonna fix that with icons for modded subclasses. Dragonify is replacing all of these yucky placeholders with some sexy thematic icons. It was only uploaded a few days ago and it already covers a whole gaggle of subclass mods. The art is AI generated so if that bothers you, you can keep the skull placeholders. Load order for this one should be irrelevant, I just threw it before my class mods. I do not know much about mods which increase the level cap, it's not something which interests me much. Perhaps there'll be a video for that in the future. What I do know is that managing the load order can look pretty different with those mods, and support for increasing the level cap will vary. You'll have to look elsewhere for more information on that unfortunately. It's few and far between, but there are some mods out there which will still potentially have conflicts with each other. You'll definitely get most class mods compatible with the mods shown today though. It's important to read. Always be reading. The bugs and posts section of any mod are usually filled to the brim with answers to questions that you might have. If you've got questions about a mod on a page which isn't very active, take a look in the official Larian Discord server, search the name of the mod to see if there's any previous discussion about it. 
Let me know if I've failed to mention anything noteworthy. I'm sure there's a few questions that will grace the comment section. If this all sounds like too much work, you could check out my Nexus collection. You'll find the link to it in my Discord, or just by looking at the collection page on the Baldur's Gate 3 Nexus. Thanks for watching.